Hi, I'm Koji, and welcome to Night Circus TV. I'm here with Scott Marr. How's it going, Scott? Hi, Koji. How are you? Good. I'm good. How are you doing? Great. Yeah? Um, tell us a bit about your music. Um, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, uh, you've got gigs coming up, right? You've yeah. Got a gig well, in I, June? Yeah, I've got a gig. I've got a couple of gigs coming up in Dublin. I do Whelan's kind of every... Well, I've started to... I only started last weekend uh, to do original gigs again after kind of four years. So it's uh, it's kind of a, a brand new thing, even though it's these songs are you know getting older in my head. Yeah, yeah, they're fresh to everybody else. Yeah, well, I played them first first um, last weekend, so uh, it was good to just get them. How do I feel? Weird, because they all it's like blurting it all out in one go, you know. Yeah. It's like ten songs in one gig. It was it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, so just looking forward to doing as many as possible. Great. And you just re released a single. Yeah, a song Tell called "If We Were Lovers." Um, and I got playlists on a couple of couple of stations around the country, which is oh, great. which is great. Yeah. So people should start requesting it. Yeah, well, the, the, yeah, a couple of, yeah, all of them pretty much. Fantastic. You know, so I've been lucky. Been lucky yeah. with a bit of airplay. You need a little bit of luck like that, I suppose. To yeah, definitely. And hard work. Yeah, well, of course, but uh, well, yeah. I mean, you just needed to inspire you to, the, the, you know, when you see it, you know, getting a bit of play or starting to sell a bit, you kind of renews your faith in. Yeah. Commercial Speaking music, of selling, or whatever the yeah. people can find you on iTunes. If yeah, you want to buy your music. Yeah, I've only got one new single up there. Right. Well, I've got two older albums, but um. But the new single, they the can new find. single, yeah. Great. And are you gonna play that first tonight? Yeah, why not? Great. And um, you can tell me about these videos that you're making. Yeah, I I I, um, I teamed up with a young filmmaker a guy called Andy Jordan, and um, we started to make videos. Um, just out of it seems to be more interesting. To, to go and record a few videos than it does to sit in the studio and record some songs and yeah. just I mean I do obviously you know record songs but um, it's just a good way to convey a, an image of what you have in your head of what the song is and I find it comes to life once you once you put a, kind of an image on it or a picture right. on it it's, it it starts to breathe you know yeah yeah which so is where, great where can people find these videos uh, just on YouTube um, just do a search for me M A H E or so. Mar or Maher, depending whether you're if you're in Tipperary. Tipperary. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, and when you're writing your songs, how do you approach the songwriting experience? Uh, it, it, it all depends on the day, really. Um, I kind of write songs everywhere, in the car, in the bed, in the shower. Right. Everywhere. Coming a tune in your head. Yeah, I, I never really sit down to write a song and then write a song and then finish it. You know, yeah. I, I don't really do that. But uh, so I, I, I have my voice memos thing that I. I collect about ten demos on, in the traffic, and then I delete them all, yeah. <laughs> and then start again. And you know, um, or you get a word, you hear a word somewhere, or get a word, and uh, just That's kinda, an idea. yeah, cling onto it a bit. And uh, I started to write with a, with a lot of people as well, which is cool. Because, Must you collaborate a lot? Yeah, I collaborate. I, I really enjoy collaborating. Uh, before I was not against it, but I didn't really enjoy it because I thought yeah. oh, just a bit of a churn, you yeah, know. But yeah. when you actually Realize if the other person trying to get in tune with what the other person is is thinking about and, and how it can and help you know the, the the song. Yeah. It can be interesting. It can also be crap. It can be it, a lot of fun though. Well, yeah, it can be a lot of fun, it lot of but fun. it can a lot of be a lot of great fun. You yeah. Know? Um, so you know, I like I enjoy that. Love you it. Know? So um, we were talking about equipment earlier. Do you have a favorite piece of equipment to pedal or? A yeah, I, I do my, uh, my my little boss loop station, uh, which is probably every songwriter in the world has at this stage. Yeah. <laughs> but it's great for um, again, you can co-write with your with your loop your, pedal. Yeah. You know, just throw a couple of chords into it, and um, all of a sudden you're in the twenty minute stare. Yeah. You know, you're just gone. You're gone. <laughs> Zoning out. Zoning out, yeah. And you're a Martin player as well, Martin guitars. Yeah, well, I like I like playing all sorts of guitars, yeah. but I like that little Martin guitar. Yeah, it's, um, it was designed for Joni Mitchell. I split it open. Um, I, I dropped it uh, about a year ago, and my cousin fixes them, so it was great. But I <laughs> split another one. I might last need to week. get his number. Yeah, so I keep splitting guitars. So I keep. I'm, I'm very clumsy and bash things a lot, and so I break a lot of things. You know, wow. so um, delicate things around me. Because I have them. Yeah, Listen, Scott. Thanks a million. I'm not finished talking. Oh, I'm sorry. Carry on then. No, I'm really <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having me.
Thanks a million. Um, you're going to play a few tunes for us now? Absolutely, yeah. Great. We're looking forward to it. Right. Thanks for watching Night Circus TV. I'm, I'm Koji and I'm here with Scott Moore.
fly